Welcome to the next video in our project series. Today we're going to be focusing on the left portion of this deck and this portion is composed of two separate cable runs that are meeting at a single corner post. So for the first cable run that we're going to talk about for this section, we used a lag receiver swage stop as our end stop component and we used a through post swage stud assembly at our corner post. Now the reason we used a lag receiver swage stop is of course because we could not access the back side of the post that was up against the house and our tensioner being our swage stud assembly we used at our corner post since we could access the back side of the post. So for the other cable run in our section, as our end stop fitting, we used a low profile swage stop and that was because our end post was over there right at the beginning of the bridge and since it's low profile, it ended up matching up perfectly at that end post. That way you're not going to really see it whenever you do walk down the bridge and head to the main house. And as our tensioning component at our corner post, we used a swage stud assembly. And of course, since there are two swage stud assemblies installed there for each of these cable runs meeting at this corner post, we used a 3 16 offset method, which allowed us to perfectly stack our components on top of one another. That way they wouldn't interfere and look great. So that's going to be it for the left corner section of this deck. The next video in our series will be covering the right corner section of the deck. And if you have any more questions about this install in particular, you can check us out at www.erigging.com.